Ladies and gentlemen, if you are in possession of currency of goods with a value equal for or exceeding 50,000 of Qatari Riyal or the equivalent in a foreign currency, you must complete the declaration form. It's available in the immigration hall and head over it to the custom authority. Failure to complete or uh, falsification the form will result in a legal action. Okay, we are in Qatar at Hamad Airport. arrival, of course, from Dubai on Fly Dubai Airlines. It was a quick flight. I've got all my luggage with me. I'm gonna try and take an Uber into town. If not, I'll take a taxi, but I'll try to document that the best I can. going to Doha. Stay a couple days in Qatar for the first time. Transfers are that way. Okay. So we'll just go.
Okay. So we're here. Oh. Let's see. The baggage claim area. I've already got my bags, so uh, I'll press on out of the uh, airport area here. So I went through the checkpoints. It was smooth sailing. They call this the best airport in the world. So I'll have to shut it off right now because I'm going through security again. Okay. So they've got hotel buses. I might be able to get a bus to my hotel. See if they've got Le Meridian first. That's where I'm staying. They also have a metro here. But it is my first time here, so I don't know how it all works. The goal airport. I followed the sign here. buses I don't know how it works we'll see no hotel buses so I'll have to check on a taxi here actually what I'm gonna do is check the metro and see if I can get a train into the city so what I'm gonna do is actually take the train he says it's gonna cost me one dollar, so I'm going to Metro. So change of plans. Okay. So let's see, where's the Metro? for the metro here? No car park. Okay, going out these doors. Beautiful brand new airport, that's for sure. So I'll uh, kind of film a little bit getting out there and then once I get to the train station I'll give you more information. It is a bit of a long walk. Okay. Wow. What a walk. Oh my goodness. I feel like I burned a few calories there. Can't tell if it'll go better to take the elevator or just walk it down. I guess I'll walk it down. I'm doing the Metro because in a lot of my other videos, you guys told me, hey, why don't you ride the city trains, the Metro trains? That's mostly why I'm doing this. Although I can't tell if I just went the wrong way. I don't know. Did I? Hold on. Okay, so I gotta go one one level lower. So it looks like it says. Negative one. There we go. Oop. 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 anyone knows what airport terminal I arrived at, please let me know because I don't know what terminal it was. There might be more than one terminal. But yeah, we're walking through this little concourse here. They pass. That, that's for regular. Yeah. But also we have a, a business. This one. This one. So this one oh, is 30. 30. And the other one is 6. So just 
Okay. So I can pay by cash, uh, by cash or by card. I think card's easier. Okay. So that cost me six Qatari Real. Believe that's the name of the currency. There was a very kind gentleman who was helping me from Kenya. Now we're headed down. So I think six real is like two dollars or one dollar or something. And that business would have been probably around like ten. I do gold class usually in um, Dubai, honestly, but I'll try the economy here first. So I'm going to DECC. Many stops. I'll let you know how long it takes. That's the city center. Okay, so basically it looks like I have the train all to myself here. I think this is gold class in the front, so I'll just peek in there. No one's in there. I don't know if that's gold class or what, but basically the only one on this train, so unlike Dubai, it's quite busy. Okay, we arrived at DECC and it got a lot busier. Okay, so yeah, that took around 25 minutes, I would say, and it cost a dollar and 95 cents US. So it got way busier as the uh, ride went on though. So it started out empty and then picked up a full train. By the time we got here, it is around, I want to say, 8.30 p.m. Oh, I was wrong. It's actually 9.30 p.m. But yeah, we're outside the station here. Beautiful weather today in November. I want to talk about the visa on arrival. So they asked me how long I was going to be here. I told them four days. And he gave me the visa for four days. I cannot stay any longer than that. This is called DECC because it's Doha Exhibition Center. But yeah, the guy who checked me in to the country, he asked me how many days I was going to be here and where I was staying. I told him. And so when I checked the passport, it was just four days. So if I would have said seven days, he would have made it seven days. So something to consider. Um, but it didn't cost anything and it was basically visa on arrival is what it is. You can go online and see exactly what countries have visa on arrival. There was quite a bit. But yeah, quite amazed by the uh, beautiful weather today. Let me just make sure I'm going in the right direction.